Okay guys, let's just jump straight into the video. So I know I should have a yoga mat and I also want to make a disclaimer that I don't know the name of all these exercises. So this first stretch, we're just going to call it the back pose because it's so important to stretch your back and your shoulders because when you're lifting the barbell up to do squats or lifting up a kettlebell, it's so easy to sprain your shoulders and your back. So you need to make sure that your back and shoulders are entirely stretched. So you just want to come onto your knees and put your arms in front of you and stretch all the way through your back and then you want to come up and then go back down into that pose. So the next stretch I'm going to call the hip opener. So you just want to come down and put your hands on your feet and use your arms to push your hips open. Now it's very, very important to open up your hips for the sake of mobility, especially when you're doing squats and doing leg day, because obviously the more open your hips are, the lower your squat and the better that is. Now the third stretch, is called, I think it's a bird pose or pigeon pose. And you just wanna put one leg in front at more like a right angle and put the other leg directly behind you. And this really does open up the hips as well, just like the previous stretch. So you just wanna stay in this position and you can lean down and go forward just to open up your hips a little bit more. So just make sure you breathe through the whole of the stretch and then come back up. You will also feel this stretch on your hips and your outer thighs, which is also very important for leg day. Now the full stretch, I have no idea what it's called, but it's very similar to the bird pose, but instead you're up on your knee. So you wanna put one leg behind and one leg in front and put your hands on your front thigh and just lean forward. And you don't wanna to extend too far, you just wanna make sure that you've pushed forward enough that it ensures that your hips are open. And you want to make sure that you breathe through every pose and by that I mean take deep breaths and then push further, take deep breaths and then push further and this will make sure that the stretch is completed properly. Now with this exercise you just want to lean back from that prior position and this ensures that your hamstrings and the back of your leg are entirely stretched. Of course a tight hamstring can cause injury on leg day if you don't stretch properly, so you wanna make sure that you do. Now the next stretch is the one we all know, literally just stand straight and bend over and touch your toes. And this again stretches out your hamstrings, the back of your legs, and really ensures that you loosen up. Now with this next stretch, you want to put one foot forward and lift up your heel and this ensures that you get a stretch through your entire calf area and you really do want to loosen up your calves, especially if you are training calves because you can cause serious injury or hurt yourself very badly if you don't loosen up your calves and you are training them. This next stretch is also for your hips, so you just want to sit down. I think this is called the butterfly pose. So you just want to hold into your feet and then push your legs towards the ground so you'll really open up your hips. And of course, the further you lean forward is the more open your hips will become. Again, this next stretch we all know, you just want to stand up and then hold one foot up and then this will stretch out your quads. And of course, leg day, quads go hand in hand. So you really want to make sure you stretch these. Okay, I have no idea what this stretch is called, but you just want to lay on your back, put one leg up and put the other leg in front of it and then just hold onto the back of your leg and this really does stretch out the back of that leg. And it's very, very important again, like I said, to stretch out your hamstrings for leg day. that's it guys super quick stretches to do before leg day and after leg day to prevent injury and for the sake of mobility to make your exercises more doable